got teddy bears, spies, and suspenders. Are you ready for a scalding hot cup of cake crunch? Ah! September 2011 is over and we've already reviewed a bunch of massive K-pop songs via our Music Monday. Today we're gonna review some of the lesser known songs, starting with Jay Park's Demon. Jay Park released Demon on September 5th and it's entirely in English. It's an absolutely great song with Michael Jackson-esque chorus, great singing and great dancing. And you could really see how talented Jay Park is. But what he makes up for in talent, he lacks in production budget. Boy, was this a horrible video. Not the dance sequences, mind you, but everything else around it. Sorry Jay Park. We loved abandoning tonight, but this video looked like you had about 20 bucks, a smoke machine, and three rolls of toilet paper left over in your production budget to make a video. Yeah, that girl might be a hot demon, but her ghost friends look like they're gonna paint my house before they're gonna haunt it. What happened here? Did you hire the director of JYJ's A Girl or something? Seriously, this video looks like something that we'd produce. Can you just imagine how awesome K-pop videos would be on an eat your kimchi budget? Sorry, 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 bonorama, bonorama, Mr. Simple, Mr. Simple, blow your mind. This is every single song, it's blow your mind. We're in the same room. And one more thing, Jay Park, bruh. You remember in Abandoned when you had that girl in the bedroom and instead of like doing anything with it, you just started like singing and crying in front of her? Yeah, you kind of blew that chance. And now you have a hot girl literally fall from the sky into your bed on top of you. And what do you do but stand up and lecture her? Son, I am disappointed. Somebody needs to teach you about the birds and the bees. Forget It was released on September 21st by Jewelry S, which is a subgroup formed by two members from the band, you guessed it, Jewelry. Is it just me or does it feel like Jewelry fell off the face of the planet since their 2008 single, One More Time? Forget It really has more of a J-pop feel to it than a K-pop feel. And I say that because J-pop usually always sounds really peppy, like the opening theme song to a family musical comedy drama. Forget It suffers from a real identity crisis. It starts off as like a ballad, really slow, and then suddenly it changes to like this peppy upbeat song and you're like yeah it's upbeat and peppy and then it goes back to a ballad again. The video is all about breaking up and forgetting about your ex and throughout the whole video there's a lot of people dancing around in the rain which is pretty much the best way to get over your ex by catching pneumonia. Now we know that it's very common for a lot of k-pop groups to like dance around sexily in the rain but something was a bit confusing about this video considering Jewelry S they all had umbrellas and then they just dropped them on the ground and you're like guys you're doing it wrong. And perhaps we get one of the most disturbing scenes we have ever seen in our whole k-pop career. Two happy smiling cute Jewelry Glorious girls in a room singing, surrounded by cushions and teddy bears, when suddenly the teddy bears explode! And yet the girls continue to sing and smile while the teddy bear genocide continues and teddy bear guts rains down upon them. You know, if you had called an ambulance right away, you probably could have saved those teddy bears' lives. But no, you just keep singing while they spill their guts out everywhere. You cruel, heartless monsters. Where is your sense of stuffed toy humanity? All I know is after watching this video, I developed horrible night terrors of jewelry ass coming to my home and murdering all my precious stuffed animals. I'll get it. Who is it? It's Jewelry S. Jewelry S? How would they be here? Oh my god! Kogi! <gasps> Kogi, no! Kogi, no! I am a doctor. It looks like you will make a full recovery. Isn't that great, Kobe? Ah! Oh, I'm free from the hospital! Let's celebrate! Next 
on our list is Kim Q Jung's Yesterday, which came out on September 27th. Better known as a member of SUSA 501, 501. he's the last member of SUSA 501, 501 to have his own solo album. Q Jung debuts with a very catchy dance battle, which for some reason reminds me of an Arikian Iglesias. I don't know, it sounds very European. <laughs> Anyways, he sings about missing a girl and one of the most interesting dances we've seen in a while. It'll probably be remembered as a suspender dance, but we personally would like to remember it as the wedgie dance. Seriously, how many of you worn suspenders before? If you pull your suspenders, that just means that you're giving yourself a bigger wedgie. Uncomfortable. Now, you might know that we have a special place in our hearts for Susa 501. We loved Love Ya. It brought out one of our most important points we ever made about K-pop. The whole face arousal raunchy thrusting. But that was so last year. Face arousal Rouse a raunchy thrusting is just too tame now. This time, Q Jung brings out the big guns. Clearly obvious crotch caressing. That's right, caressing with a K. That's how we spell it in Canada. Clearly obvious crotch caressing occurs when he clearly obviously runs his hands right down the front of his pants. It's like not even subtle. He does it twice, just a big wipe down the front of his zipper right there. It's not as raunchy as a Michael Jackson crotch grab, but it's a lot more unsettling. Moving on to K-drama, September saw the ending of Myol Wo the Spy, which I'm currently only several episodes into. Eric from Xinhua stars in this drama as Kang Wu, or as we call him, Mr. G. The G stands for Jito Bear. But Simon made me say that. Cause it's hilarious. Okay. Anyhow, Eric does a really fantastic job of portraying Kang Wu, who is a super narcissistic, perfectionist K-pop idol. Within the first couple episodes, he has all these kind of awkward run-ins with Myung Wall, who is supposed to be like an elite spy who's not very good at sneaking or hiding or getting autographs or you know, anything that's kind of important, like suppressing emotions and stuff like that. How are you an elite spy again? Anyways, this drama is actually a comedy, but the plot is surprisingly thick with lots of double agents crossing each other and double crossing other people and double crossing things and double crossing their fingers and they're lying and that part doesn't happen. But it's pretty hard for me to explain this to you without ruining the plot. Ironically, this drama has a How You Crackdown squad, which I wonder if it really exists. And their job is to combat the illegal smuggling of drama and K-pop stuff into other countries, which is kind of funny considering that most of the viewers watching this and watching those dramas probably downloaded or streamed the video, so I think you should probably run for it guys, run for it! So far I'm pretty happy that it doesn't rely on a lot of slapstick, which a lot of comedies in Korea seem to do, but I'm unhappy as to where the plot seems to be going. It looks like the big huge Hallyu star and the creepy girl that's stalking him are gonna fall in love. And yeah, I know that's your fantasy and all, but I just feel like realistically that would never happen. Hey, I'm constantly showing up everywhere you go and look at me, I'm dangling from the ledge of your balcony. Fall in love with me! Trust me, that's not gonna get you dragging to hold your hand or jaging to father your babies. But if you're lucky, you might get a restraining order. The end of September saw the birth of Poseidon, a blah 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 drama about blah 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 blah. Who cares? She wants in it. And there's a cameo from Yuno. Know. If you haven't gotten into K dramas yet and you're looking to make the plunge, what a better way to ease your way into the transition by staring at She Won and Yuno wear military uniforms. Woohoo! Um, question: Will She Won show up wearing green underpants? Um, question: Will he dance in them? Oh change my mind then. But seriously, this drama is one of those action adventure ones. It's very similar to like Iris and Athena, except it's focused on the Korean Coast Guards and a special marine unit called, you guessed it, Potato. I mean, Poseidon. We got gunfights, we got boats, we got creepy drug dealers who like to tattoo people before they kill them. It's looking good so far. She went does a jump kick off of a car and kicks someone in the face. Not really necessary, but looked pretty good. Thus far, only four episodes have been released. And I really love the tough but gentle character, Kwang Jung Ryul. But so far, I have really mixed feelings about the main actress. She doesn't really strike me as being a marine officer. Like, she kind of lacks the composure and she lacks the look as well. But my one major complaint about the TV show is the terrible use of music. During the very first episode, there's this really intense scene where they kind of like raid a drug dealer's boat. And they've got like their SWAT gear on and it's like super intense. And in the background, there's like K-pop music playing with like a K-pop rap breakdown and I'm like oh that's a little bit awkward right now. I guess I just expected some like high intensity spy music or like some kind of like grungy electronic music. I just didn't expect like a K-pop rap song. Sure, some of you might say that this is a really small thing to complain about, but seriously, if the music is off, it can totally ruin a video and give it a completely different vibe. <laughs> Sorry, there was a lineup at the washroom. Oh, no problem. Sartina, 
I know today is our one year anniversary, mm -hmm. so there's something really special that I want to do for you. Okay, what is it? I know we've been together such a long, long time, and now I want to lay it down on the line. Mm -hmm. I have a gift for a special, so take off the top. Oh my god! Take a look inside. It's an anniversary ring. And by anniversary, I mean engagement ring. Oh my god! Are you proposing? Will you marry me, Sartina? Oh my god! Mine and yes! Mine and yes! Diarrhea. When your stomach starts a rolling and you're cleaning out your colon, diarrhea. Diarrhea. I gotta go tweet this in Facebook with my friend. Gold brush your coffee stains off your teeth. I'll see you next month for Cake Crunch.